Merrill Swain came out with the output hypothesis, which is basically the idea that it's not just input that allows us to learn. We have to do output. We have to do it ourselves. We have to produce language, and that's one of the major ways of learning, actually. And I agree with her, and most everybody else does, but Krash is still kind of doubtful on that. Okay. Um, so if we go on to the other hypotheses, Long's adjustment hypothesis is also um, about adjusting, or I plus one, or the ZPD. And it's uh, Long basically said, Krashen, you're right, comprehensible input, but how do you get comprehensible input? That's what's most important. And Michael Long said, well, we have to adjust. And he, has, he had three or four articles, one in 1983 that came out that was wonderful about non-native speakers and how they adjusted to, to no, native speakers, how they adjusted to non-native speakers. And it's a whole list of strategies and tactics of adjusting. And he saw that as uh, very, very important. Okay? Um, all right, Dick All right in England, um, went one step further and said, OK, yeah, adjustments, but when can we adjust? <laughs> and that's where uh, interaction comes in. And we need to be able to interact. If people are studying all by themselves, they're probably not learning a lot. They need to interact socially so other people can adjust to them and so they can interact and, and get those adjustments to get the comprehensible input so they can acquire language. OK, does that make sense? OK. Then some people go one step further and say, but not just any old interaction. It needs to be quality interaction. Okay.